the ego. The next card in the symbol on deck is the card of Leo and its ruler, the sun. They really have this attitude of kings and queens when it comes to living their lives. Leos are masters of uh, generous gestures, such as expensive gifts, for instance. They always want to create uh, the most amazing, the most radiant effect. Uh, they want to do everything on a large scale. They don't understand the meaning of the world. Mediocre. They need to be, and they are, grandiose in their attitudes and in their mannerisms as well. The title of this card is Ego, because indeed the Leo sits beautifully on his throne. He is portrayed as a king, and you can see that he is sitting in his highest position, higher than anyone else. So the city is somewhat below him. He rules from above, he rules over others. And so the king is sitting on his throne for now, but we will see throughout the deck, as we advance through the symbol on deck, that there will be some cards where this throne is in fact shaken, and then the king will eventually uh, even fall off his throne when Leo is going to meet with its counterpart, Aquarius. Because uh, Leo and Aquarius, uh, those two signs are actually opposite to each other on the zodiac wheel, and so every time there is an opposition, every time we will see two signs that are opposing to each other, uh, on this like wheel that will always crave some extra attention, it will always crave some extra energy from us. When it carries a positive meaning, when this card appears in a uh, positive placement, the card is telling us to connect with our inner Leo archetype, connect to the king that lives within us. Just like the Leo archetype, we also need to be confident and realize that we have influence over the lives of others. And this is really a great responsibility that we should never take lightheartedly. So the card's message is that we need to show ourselves to others, to be bold, to assert our own will, use our creative energies. So it is time for us to be in the center of all the attention, time to be in the spotlight, just like Leo likes to be in the spotlight. So we need to initiate and take control, just like a true king. There are also some questions we can ask when this card comes up in a reading. How much attention do you get from others? How can you express yourself and your creativity? Are you able to accept other people's opinions? 